Hello everyone, welcome to another series of Mind Map. In this series, we will discuss about Governor. First of all, we will know about the importance of this topic for UPSC, its constitutional provisions, eligibility criteria, salary and allowances, power of Governor, issues with Office of Governor and way forward. So this topic is very important from the perspective of UPSC exam and it was currently in news. It has been asked frequently in prelims 2019, 2018, 2016, 2014 and in mains also. So let's have a look at the introduction of the topic. The governor is the chief executive head of the state and acts as an agent of the central government. The governor's appointment, powers and other matters related to the office of governor have been discussed under Article 153 to Article 167 in Part 6 of the Indian Constitutions. Now moving on to the constitutional provisions. As per Article 153, there shall be a governor for each state and a same person can be appointed as governor for two or more states, 7th Amendment Act. The executive power of the state shall be vested in the governor. The governor of a state is appointed by the president and he shall hold office during the pleasure of the president. He may resign from his office by addressing his resignation to the president. He shall hold office for a term of five years from the date on which he enters his office. He continues to hold office until his successor enters upon his office regardless expiration of his term. Now let's discuss about the eligibility criteria for the same. Article 157 and 158 deals with the eligibility criteria for appointment of the governor. He should be a citizen of India. He has attained the age of 35 years. He must not be a member of House of Parliament. He must not be a member of House of the Legislature of any state. He must vacate his seat in that house on the date on which he enters upon his office as governor and the governor should not hold any other office of profit. Now, if we talk about salary and allowances, the governor is entitled to emoluments, allowances and privileges as specified in the second schedule. The emoluments and allowances of the governor shall not be diminished during his term of office. Now, let's discuss about the power of governor. Governor of a state has many powers which can be categorized into five parts. Executive powers, legislative powers, financial powers, judicial powers and discretionary powers. Executive powers. All executive actions of the government of a state are taken in his name. He appoints the chief minister and other ministers. He appoints the advocate general of a state and the state election commissioner. He appoints the chairman and members of the state public service commission and he acts as the chancellor of universities in the state and appoints the vice chancellor of universities of the state. Legislative powers. He can summon or prorogue the state legislator and dissolve the state legislative assembly, Article 174. He nominates one-sixth of the members of the state legislative council. He decides on the question of disqualification of members of the state legislature. Reserve the bill for the consideration of the president Article 200 and he can promulgate ordinances when the state legislator is not in session. Article 213. Financial powers. He sees that the annual financial statement or state budget is laid before the state legislator according to Article 202. Money bills can be introduced in the state legislator only with his prior recommendation. He can make advances out of the contingency fund of the state to meet any unforeseen expenditure and he constitutes a finance commission after every five years. Judicial powers. He can under Article 161 grant pardons, reprieves, respites and remissions of punishment or suspend, remit and commute the sentence of any person. He makes appointments, postings and promotions of the district judges in consultation with the state high court. He appoints persons to the judicial service of the state and discretionary powers include, he can reserve a bill for the consideration of the president, seeking information from the chief minister relating to administrative and legislative matters of the state. He can request any party to form government if no party or coalition has majority. 
and he can dismiss the council of ministers when it is unable to prove the confidence in the legislative assembly now let's have a look at the issues with office of governor misuse of power abuse of power by the center biased ideology and puppet ruler now lastly let's discuss about the way forward various commissions time and again have recommended various provisions to strengthen and make the office of governor more efficient as per administrative reforms commission persons having long experience in public life and administration and non partition attitude should be appointed as the governor according to sarkaria commission the governor cannot dismiss the council of ministers so long as it commands a majority in the assembly the governor's term of 5 years in a state should not be disturbed except for some extremely compelling reasons punchi commission also suggested various provisions to strengthen the office of governor fixed tenure impeachment process guidelines to be followed while appointing the chief minister are some of them thus the following steps must be taken in order to make his office more efficient and pro democracy work in cooperation with the state government must not be a mere puppet of center their tenure must be fixed that is security of tenure no reappointment and person with experience in public life and administration must be appointed as a governor now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims question which one of the following suggested that the governor should be an eminent person from outside the state and should be a detached figure without intense political links or should not have taken part in politics in the recent past first administrative reforms commission 1966 rajmanar committee 1969 sarkaria commission 1983 or national commission to review the working of the constitution 2000 you can send the answer of this question in the comment section now moving on to the mains question A governor should be discharging his or her duty in accordance with the spirit of the constitution not just be an agent of the center discuss the statement in the light of the role of governor in the indian polity so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching